Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. Africa, once called the Dark Continent, dark the continent may have been, but it was the blood, toil, sweat and tears of African slaves that made many nations rich and the people there wealthy. But Africa remains backward and the people there continue to suffer in many ways. However, in the midst of darkness, light persists. And that light, the light of compassion, has been lit by Satya Sai Baba of India. Born about 80 years ago in a remote village, Baba's love draws millions to him from everywhere. His message is simple but inspiring. Baba just says, love all and serve all. Baba himself shows by example. All are eligible for his love, irrespective of all man-made divisions like race, caste, and creed. Baba built a world-class hospital in his native village. The facilities are ultra-modern, but the treatment is absolutely free. Not one cent is charged. Unbelievable, but true. Since 1991, over 12,000 heart surgeries have been done free. And the President of India came to see all this for himself. In Baba's hospital, blessed indeed are the poor. Baba lives in an arid region. In 1995, Baba started a massive drinking water project. It has been completed in the record time of 18 months. And now a million villagers get unpolluted drinking water free and throughout the year. Baba has also set up a university in his native village that offers free education Inspired by Baba, his students go out for village service every year. Going from house to house, they distribute food, sweets, and clothes. Back to Africa, and we start with service in Nigeria, done by Baba's followers. So I'm in charge of the medical camps in Lagos. We have been conducting several camps for long, since 1987. To till date, we have been rehabilitating 600 lepers and 400 TB people. His name is Alaji Sani Ibrahim, head of Lepers Colony at Alaba. 
he came here to thank Satya Sai Seva organization for three things. One is we put them of structured shelters, 80 houses we built for these lepers. Second one is there was a case whose intestine came out and he was bedridden for several months. So we got him operated and we brought him back to life. The other one is lepers, all of the lepers they have been cured, they are able to do their own work, they go and earn their living. Leprosy is a curable disease, but it needs someone who helps. And when there is help, there is relief. And when there is relief, there is happiness. Now it's my body. It's better for me. No problem for my body, only my body. Thank you, Slad Baba. Service has many dimensions. These juveniles in a remand home are receiving a taste of Baba's love. This is at a Kota village in Nigeria. Baba's followers support a small school for the kids of this village. The children are also taught silent sitting. The sound heard is from a neighboring class. On now to Kenya. This school has been built in tribal country on land donated by the chief, and it is supported by the Sai organization. <laughs> Students learn farming and produce vegetables for the school. The water tank here not only supplies to the school, but to the entire neighborhood during drought periods. In Tanzania, Baba's devotees often bring useful gifts to handicapped children. They also support a school for the visually handicapped. I'm a teacher in this school, and actually I have been uh, working here for about 14 years now. I'm aware of what good uh, done by this organization. They have given uh, the service of food to pupils, um, some wears from, for example, shoes, mosquito nets. They have renovated the, their buildings. Actually, they did very good things to the blind pupils of this school. We are now in Malawi and you are about to see scenes from a medical camp run by UK doctors. Okay, my name is Dr. Kerias Nchamboza. I'm the in charge of this hospital. Uh, so far everything has been going well and um, I must admit this is the first time we have such a big group being attended too. Welcome here to the Monfort Mission Hospital here. We're here with Care and Share and the Satisai organization on a medical camp. This camp here we brought doctors from the UK. We have three pharmacists and four GPs, uh, a general surgeon and an anaesthetist. What I'm doing is uh, 
trying to diagnose urinary tract infection, anemia, malaria, and any other parasitic infections like bilharzia, which is histosomiasis, and doing the, getting the results immediately, whereby the doctors can decide which appropriate treatment to give to the patients. We've seen approximately 600 patients between the hospitals. We've been providing dental and eye care at Chikwawa District and all the general services at the Monfort Mission Hospital. The patients have been seen, treated by the doctors, provided with medication. At the end of it, they've been given a meal and been escorted back from where they've come. This is Mrs. Mbura. I'm, I'm very happy to see these doctors from UK. They are really helping us. I'm Veena, pharmacist from London. As you can see, we are extremely busy. Uh, we've done about 500 uh, prescriptions yesterday and we're still doing yesterday's prescriptions. We have not even started today's prescriptions. First day, it rained so heavily, we had a problem to give the food. Where we are going to feed these people? A gentleman who is a local in charge of the Muslim community, he came forward and he said, you can use the mosque. We will cook for you and people can sit comfortably in the mosque and eat. He said he has been attending the camps, but the amount of love and respect which he has received it is nowhere and he would like to volunteer his services. Because it's an experience which you cannot have if you do not join one of these camps. And at the end of the day, having worked so, so many hours, you find that and you see the smiles on these uh, people's faces and that is what is most satisfying. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. This school in Zambia started off catering to dropouts and street kids. Now it is hailed as the miracle school. Its founder is Victor Kanu, who came to Baba in the 80s. What you are now witnesses is a daily event, or we make it regular, when the school, in its efforts to establish good community relations, look after the old people and orphans of the area. Today, the old people who are regular Customers of the school are receiving blankets. This is the winter season, it's very cold. A bag of mealy meal, which is the staple food, and a hamper containing salt, uh, sugar, oil, and soap for their individual uses. These are very scarce commodities in this country, and especially among old people who have no one to look after them. Street kids still get attention. And when they get blankets, there is a big cheer. Special and warm attention is also given to little children with AIDS. This is a slum near Johannesburg, and the slum children receive education in a school built by Baba's followers. Well, the EHV program has five human values, truth, love, peace, right conduct, and non-violence. So, one of the values that really touches me is truth, because you have to be honest about everything in your life. Oh, no.
inspired by the village service done by Baba's students. Devotees of Durban follow suit. I thank thee for the opportunity. I thank thee for the opportunity to serve in your name and consciousness. To serve in your name and consciousness. Today we're doing a Grama Seva program. We've uh, planned this a few days ago, and this area there's a lot of needy people. It's one of the poverty-stricken areas. We've made up 350 amper packs, uh, made up of uh, groceries, vegetable, and blankets as well, which we're giving out to these people. And we want to continue this on a on a three-monthly basis. Baba Nikilelo would last from him. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 